What's good out there, YouTube? It's your boy, the one and only DG the Chef. And after 24 hours, we finally got most of Series 4. If you haven't been paying attention, Madden servers were down for a while. Um, I did release a video earlier about that today, but we're beyond that now. We actually got Gauntlet 2 is out. We got our NFL 100 for Week 4. And the pack fire has been on our side. So let's go ahead and get into why we're here today. You already knew what it was when it dropped. We're going over the Gauntlet 2 and how to get that expert Gauntlet token and all five stars on every challenge. We're going to break this down a little bit different than how we did last video. We're going to go by level this time. So that means rookie, veteran, legend. We're going to break down those three levels and do a video for each one. So this first video is how to get all five stars on the rookie level. If you haven't done that yet, this is your how-to guide. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are up in Madden. As you can see, I already completed my rookie, so I'm gonna walk you guys through how I did it, each and every one. You'll see that you have your particular challenges out here, and the ground game is the first one. It's fairly easy. You just have to rush for 99 yards and 14 or fewer plays, but you can actually do it on one play. If you're lucky, just go ahead and execute that ball carrier move and break out into the open field. I personally like to run stretch plays on this, get my fastest running back on a side where all I have to do is beat the linebacker and the safety, and it's off to the races. Breaking tackles are super easy. You're only going up against a 77 overall team. So spam that stiff arm button, that juke move, or that spin move, and you'll be good to go in order to complete this particular one. Air raid as well is pretty easy if you guys haven't seen our other video where we gone over the plays that we like to use in solo battles i just pulled those out for this particular one as well i use the oakland raiders offensive playbook and it, it has a gun bunch tight end set where it has a six play in this six play is very effective against cover three I like to motion my receiver out to the boundary and hit him as soon as he makes his cut. Make sure that you hit that left trigger or that L2 button and press down so you can execute your low pass so you can get that fifth star and you'll be good to go. After that, just go ahead and bomb it up to your fastest receiver or your tallest receiver and just aggressive catch. You should come down with it because you're in arcade mode. Now into the uprights is the one that most people are probably going to have an issue with because it is pretty tough. Not only are you playing on pro, and arcade but it's windy in chicago we all know it's the windy city and madden definitely gave us a lot of wind in this particular one there were times where i was going up against 12 miles per hour 15 miles per hour going into opposite direction but what i did learn here what did i learn i didn't learn a lot actually i think i got lucky i actually nailed it on the first try because i'm amazing but i don't really i think it messed up i don't know how i got it what I learned is that you want to make your kick meter go as hard as possible and accurate as possible. And you want to move your stick over to the opposite side of your kicker. So if your kicker is a right footed kicker, meaning that he's facing this way, you want to kick the ball to the left. And if you have a left footed kicker, you want to kick the ball to the right and you want to point your accuracy meter all the way up so that it's pointing up in the sky and you just want to nudge your stick over slightly 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 until you feel that vibration done and as soon as you feel that vibration that's when you know you're gonna hit the inside of that upright kick it at full power try to get as close to 100 percent accuracy as you possibly can and you should squeak it right in that upright nicking it and getting that five star punch it in was pretty simple is is just like the first one i like to run stretch plays go ahead and spam your stiff arm or your spin move you're going to break as many tackles as possible. It's in arcade mode, so you'll be good to go. And just make sure that you, right before you get to the end, you hit that square button or that X button and you execute that dive and you're good to go with five stars. Going long, keep going a little further. Perfect. That sounds really sus, actually. But nonetheless, it is a challenge. You're going to go ahead and play it on Get Wrecked. Wow. Yeah, it gets, it gets worse. Um... Basically, what I did here was I put Deion Sanders right at my inside receiver. So that slot receiver that sits right on the end of my line of scrimmage. I put Deion Sanders there and the punt fake play that I ran was the fullback pass. I just feel like my fullback is probably a better athlete than my punter, uh, more than likely. And I just pass it to Deion Sanders. Now, the trick here is to get it to him as fast as possible. That's going to be your most accurate throw. If you wait for him to get deep, you're probably going to under throw him. So wait for him to clear those linebackers and try to get it to him right over him. Now, my fullback was actually pretty spot on for this. I don't know if it's because we're in arcade mode or not, but I highly suggest putting your fastest DB or the person you feel like has the best return abilities right in that 
slot spot and passing it to him as soon as he gets past that linebacker and you should be good to go execute some spin moves some stiff arms just to break a few tackles and it should be off to the races after that you're gonna want to use the fake punt as your only pass play because if you try to do it any other way you're not gonna get five stars so brick wall you're back on defense and this one we're not going to do what we normally do where we come out of field goal block and then audible into punt safe we're actually going to come out into punt block squeeze on this one straight out the gate and allow the computer to audible into the four vertical plays that it likes to run you're going to want to control your return man and bring your control why do i keep saying return man you're going to want to control your return man and bring your return man down so you can make sure the computer doesn't get a quick throw to one of the slot receivers. Now, right before your computer gets the sack, you're going to want to click on circle or B and get that user tackle and make sure you press R1 or your right bumper. Xbox always throws me off. You want to make sure that you press RB and strip that ball. Now, I normally go ahead and put on aggressive tackle and aggressive strip just in case. But for this one, you have to get the user sack. So make sure that you select your user right before the sack happens and use the strip button so you can get that strip. Should I risk it? In my opinion, the challenges actually get a little bit easier. The more time you actually have to complete a challenge, I think it becomes an easier challenge. Those challenges where you have to do something on one play or you have to do something that's impossible to execute in two or three plays, those are the hardest challenges to me. So as you go through the gauntlet, the gauntlet actually gets easier in my opinion because you get more chances to complete the challenge. This particular one, you have to complete three passes, five passes, and seven passes. And you also have to pass for a touchdown and not throw any incomplete passes. Now, for you guys that watched my previous gauntlet challenge, there was something similar to this one. I just come out in verts and run verts all day and pretty much hot route my A receiver or X receiver and pretty much just hot route my A receiver on a slant and run slants and crosses all day on the computer. And then when I'm ready to score, I just throw it deep. Now for this particular one, I wouldn't risk throwing it deep because you can't throw an incomplete pass. Just drive down the field with verts all day. You're not gonna get tired. You're gonna complete all your passes and you're good to go. Punt return, man, we didn't really do because you only have to pick up 25 yards on a punt return. Just stiff arm, juke. You should be good to go. It shouldn't be that hard. I like to bring my uh, my inside guy or my linebacker back to help with some blocking. But it's, again, this is rookie and it's an arcade mode. So we didn't really do anything on this one. You, you shouldn't need any help on this. Playing catch up can be tough if you're not an uh, offensive guru. If you're not an offensive guru, go check out some of my other videos on offensives. Like I have one on the Oakland Raiders money plays and the Cardinals money plays. Go just use some of those plays and you should be able to beat the computer. I didn't want to do this because it is a full game and it's just offense. You don't really have to do anything besides score 15 points in the first half. And you can do that by just bombing it up to your receiver. It's arcade mode again. You're going to win. So take your best receiver, just bomb it up to him and you should be good to go. Just score and win. Now, in order to force that turnover, just go ahead and try to get an interception by running mid blitz or try to do it by forcing a fumble by using our punt squeeze formation that we used in the last one. And you should be good to go with this one. Gauntlet gets harder. This one is pretty easy. Win the game, pass for two touchdowns, rush for two touchdowns, gain five yards on punt return. Allow 100 or fewer yards passing, allow 75 or fewer yards rushing. Um, allow 10 or fewer points, 100 or fewer total yards and force one sack. So to force one sack, you already know what we're going to do. Just run mid blitz. It's a whole game. So you're going to get your sack. You're good to go. And then if you're really, really scared that they're going to get their yards, just run the clock out. You only need to score three times, two times passing and one time rushing. So if you're lucky, you can just get a turnover and you're good to go. And that should put you up if you get ball at half. I just run the clock out and got my rushing and touchdowns and my passing touchdowns. And I was good to go. And that is it. I hope this is helpful. We're definitely going to do legend and veteran coming up. I think those are going to be a little bit tougher, mainly because I've already tried the field goal one and you're further back and it's the same win. So I really wanted to break these down so you can progress with me as I go through these challenges. That way you're not waiting to try to do all of them at one time. I hope these videos help. We'll be putting out the next one very, very soon. And as always, it's been love. It's always love. It's your boy Gigi the Chef and we out. Was that good enough?